A mother is devastated to learn that her missing son has been shot and set on fire. Who will commit such a heinous crime and why? Roberto Ayala Jr. was found murdered on Tuesday, October 30th, 2018 at approximately 3.30 a.m. on Detroit's southwest side. Roberto's mother describes him as the most loving son, his fiance, a dedicated father. Help us help this family get the justice that they deserve. Roberto Ayala Jr. was found murdered on Tuesday, October 30th, 2018 at approximately 3.30 a.m. His body was discovered burning in a vacant field located at 23rd and Poplar Street on Detroit's southwest side. The day prior, Roberto's mother picked him up from a store located at Oakman and Ewald Circle, which was in the area of where he'd been residing. Around 3.15 p.m., she returned him to that same spot. She called him later around 6.30 p.m. He answered, said hello, but then the phone disconnected. Mom called back several times, but got no answer. Two days later, she went on to file a missing persons report but would later find her son at the morgue. He had been shot to death. Roberto Ayala Jr. was only 23 years old. He come from a very strong, loving family and someone viciously stole him out of our family, a thief, and we were robbed of our peace. Every day I have thoughts of my son and it hurts so bad because I don't feel like he got a fair chance at life. He was so kind. He, he can walk in a room and just make you so happy. Now my grandson doesn't have his dad. He's gonna grow up without a father. My son is gonna be two years old and he's not gonna have a dad anymore. And I'm the one that has to tell my son what happened to his father. You won't be able to bring my son back, but at least the people that are responsible in taking his life won't be able to do it to anybody else. We weren't meant to be put on this earth to kill one another. We're supposed to stand together as one. And so I'm asking for the citizens of Detroit or wherever you came from to come forward and help us in regaining our peace. And that's only going to occur through justice. If you have any information regarding this murder, we are asking that you please help this family by making an anonymous call to Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. You may also visit our website at 1-800-SPEAK-UP.org. And remember, your identity will always remain 100% anonymous.